Hey guys, it's So You Ready for today's August 10, 2021, 6 18 a.m. Central Time. So here's the deal this topic of per mile user fee being inside the infrastructure bill, okay, has been reported everywhere, including reliable news networks, reliable blue check independent reporters random ass people and everywhere else okay i've been tweeted it directly from people i've seen it on twitter direct message emailed patreon email i mean you name it you name it i have been asked about it and my answer has always been the same because i read the bill i'll show you the part of the bill which is what people are not doing by the way, when they are talking about this. And the people who are talking about this that are screenshotting the motherfucking bill, they're not screenshotting the entire section that needs to be read. So, and people just don't read. They read the headlines on everything. I don't understand how this got misconstrued, okay? I don't. So, I'm finally doing a video for everybody to know. For those on my Patreon account, my Elite Patriots, uh, supposedly today, okay, um, they're going to be voting the Senate on the infrastructure bill, final vote, uh, so said Schumer. Uh, it was supposed to be voted on over the weekend. I've been watching them ramble. I got held off. Haggerty did some stuff. Senator Haggerty, blah, 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 all this stuff. Um, so it may or may not pass today. Could pass a little later. Regardless, this sounds as though it's going to pass. Even though the CBO scored this as it not paying for itself. In fact, in the billions, like $238 billion worth over 10 years or something, is not paid for in this bill. Even though they said this bill is going to pay for itself. So that should have given people pause for those that claimed that was the case but what the hell gives congress pause these days anyway beside the point i will be going over sections of it on my patreon account regarding the per mile user fee it does not exist what does exist in this bill which by the way many outlets news outlets everybody everybody is saying this bill is over 2000 pages what are people reading it is 1934 pages in a pdf it is the most recent i know for a fact the most recent one that exists especially online if you go to congress.gov you go to the bill which is hr 3684 you go to there's four versions introduced in the house report in the house engrossed in the house which means it passed and then placed on the senate calendar which is what they've been dealing with and if you go to their actions okay you can even see this it says all actions except amendments there's 69 of them there's been 160 actual actions on this bill many amendments which i am also following for my elite patriots see all these all these okay it was placed on the calendar right Read second time. Motion to proceed. Motion to proceed. Motion to proceed. Proceed. Invoked. Proceed. Invoke. Uh, considered measure. Blah, 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 blah. Never did the text actually change, okay, from what is sitting online. So people who are saying it's over 2,000 pages must have seriously upped their uh, size of their... Uh, their text or something to like 18 or 20 or something i have no idea so anyway that's just an annoyance beside the point the mileage situation i will quote it for you guys unlike every single person on the planet who's not section 1630 is a gao study on per mile user fee equity god i love the word equity these people are using just so those of you who don't know and i'm going to read the section of it those of you who don't know what equity really means okay equity means let's keep everyone motherfucking stupid that's what that means equality means we give everybody the same opportunity to succeed 
and they either succeed or they fail or they can even go further and have uh, higher achievements. Equity, on the other hand, is exactly what Oregon's doing, which is what a video I'm going to do for YouTube after this, just because I thought it was pathetically, hilariously fucking sick, okay, that Oregon did what they did. It makes everybody stay on the same playing field, not able to advance even if you want to. That's what equity is. Keep everybody on the same level of stupidity. It's ridiculous. Anyway, this is the per mile user fee bullshit that is in the infrastructure bill. Not later than two years after the date of enactment, the Compu Troller General of the United States shall carry out a study on the impact of equity issues associated with per mile user fee funding systems on the surface transportation system. I have to say, <laughs> The fact they're going to spend two years, probably millions or even billions because they love going over budget on stuff to find out that it will destroy people's lives is pathetic because I just told you the motherfucking outcome. It will destroy people's lives. The only people who can afford electric vehicles today and probably in the next decade are people that are higher class obviously the elite and some people just don't want the fucking electric cars okay because they're expensive they're obnoxious you have to go to certain stations to do this to do that to fucking you know charge the damn thing some of them still have are those dual ones that have gas and electric so what are you going to get rid of those two it's a it's the most ridiculous thing ever but poor and middle class will be destroyed. What you will see is this economy go from very few manufacturing jobs, because there were a lot more that prior to uh, Biden, very few manufacturing jobs to zero manufacturing jobs, and everybody will be working from home regarding stupid ass companies, okay? And everybody will become an obese motherfucker who has no communication skills, no nothing, because they'll be sitting in front of a screen all day and probably playing on social media and doing their job. So this is a study. <laughs> the study under subsection A, which is what I just mentioned, shall include the following. With respect to per mile user fee systems, one, the financial, social, and other impacts of per mile user fee systems on individuals, low income individuals, and individuals of different races. That two, the impact that access to alternative modes of transportation, including public transportation, has in carrying out per mile user fee systems. Oh, the other alternative is everybody gets a bike. You know, like the one that you use with your fucking feet, not motorcycle. You get on your bike and we have bike lanes and everybody becomes toothpicks and like hippies and shit. Who knows? Or we have a bunch of high speed rail systems everywhere. This could go a million directions. Three, the ability to access jobs and services. What happens if you get sick, right? which may include health care facilities, child care, education, and workforce training, food sources, banking, and other financial institutions, and the other retail shopping establishments, equity issues for low-income individuals in urban and rural areas, any differing impacts on passenger vehicles and commercial vehicles, and number C, inclusions. In carrying out this study under subsection A, the Comptroller General shall include an analysis of the state surface transportation system funding pilot program under section 620 of the FAST Act, 23 USC 503 note. Now they want to do a report. Not later than two years after the date of enactment of this act, the Comptroller General shall submit to the Committee of Transportation and Infrastructure of the House of Representatives and the Committee of Environment and Public Works of the Senate and make publicly available a report containing the results of the study under subsection A 
including recommendations for how to equitably implement per mile user fee systems. This, and then it's a bunch of definitions, which is ridiculous. This is the worst idea ever, first of all, but this is the biggest waste of goddamn money, okay? What what gets me about this is the fact people think this is in the bill, but meaning it exists, like there is a per mile user fee in the bill, <laughs> obviously just killed that idea. It's a goddamn study. But in a sense, when this bill passes, if that stupid study is still in there by the time it passes, we literally will be paying... <laughs> When you think about it, every single time you get in your car and you go a mile, you are paying for that fucking study with your taxpayer money. So technically, there is a per mile user fee for the next two years, that is, okay, uh, for them to figure out exactly what I said. It will destroy this economy. It, 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 the implications this would have on not just people individually, but we're talking about businesses, food, like getting from A to B, gas, A to B, electric stations, if you so have them, having them built, having construction, having manufacturing jobs, do Wall Street, everybody's going to start walking like New York City, are we just going to take all the rural people and shove them in the big cities or turn everything rural into a large city and have these long, obnoxious, uh, high-speed rail trains from A to B, like the one they wanted to make in California? Yeah, that worked out real well, didn't it? So this government is so goddamn incompetent, it's crazy. But I will say this, the Biden administration was going to be bad. Everybody knew it was going to be bad. I will tell you this. I am so impressed with how fast this old, stupid, handicapped, Alzheimer, mushy-brained motherfucker and his pathetic administration has destroyed this country, put it on a path of destruction. Some of it, as far as I'm concerned is going to be almost irreversible. No joke. Like, all this, um, what do you call it? Like, not so much economically, but theoretically. Like, all these, th all these new ideas, like the whole CRT bullshit, equity, changing it from equality to equity. Those types of things are going to be difficult to reverse in some of these losers' brains that have been malfunctionally wired stupid through the educational system because they have, they have indoctrinated kids for the last two decades. And the people you see now that are wandering the streets, mouthing off, teachers, everyone else, new, new parents, or just fucking millennials that have no goddamn kids that think it's a good idea, okay, that love this idea is because they have been taught this shit for two decades, okay? They have agreed with it. So now they, you are seeing, they are reaping what they sow, and they are seeing the result of what they started a couple decades ago. Congratulations! You made a bunch of very selfish... Um, social justice warriors that probably don't have very good jobs either. But beside the point, I'm a millennial. I somehow stayed out of this indoctrination. I have no idea how the fuck that shit ha worked. I I'm a, a, I have people in my generation that are stupid. Okay, I definitely do. Obviously, I said I did. But I mean people in my life that are my generation that are stupid. But they're not as stupid as some of these younger people. But social media is destroying people's lives. That's what the problem is. So I have seen some people who are factually normal go to factually completely stupid. Completely stupid. 
But this administration is absolutely doing everything wrong. And it's impressive. Like, I don't know who's running the White House. You know, he's got his little staff of assholes. Then there's Harris, who's absolutely useless. She's doing nothing. I mean, I told you guys a long time ago, I used to talk about her stupid ass when she was in the Senate. Not even before she ran for president. Not even before presidential elections started. And she started her pathetic 2% campaign. Okay? I told you guys she was an idiot. She called the Border Patrol the KKK and ICE the KKK during a Senate hearing. Okay? Yeah, let's put this stupid bitch in the White House because she checks boxes. There are plenty of black women that were highly qualified beyond Harris, if that's what the boxes he needed to check were. But she is severely dumb. So she's not the one running the White House. It is exactly like I said, two things, and then I'll end this video. I said on Twitter, this administration and 215 Democrats are being controlled by five woke little girls i had other descriptions for them by the basically the left the retarded ridiculous squad that now includes cory bush from missouri whom i cannot stand she is a beast okay she's a beast her personality and she looks like a beast i can't stand her and the shit she put out on YouTube about how her life's been th- so threatened and she has to have her own security. And it- well, you want me to die? Uh, I, I'm doing uh, the people's work and important work up here and blah, blah, blah and all this shit. No, motherfucker. What you did is you sat on the steps of the Capitol and you ended up getting this retarded, mushy brain motherfucker in the White House to go against the Supreme Court's ruling Back in, what was it, June or July that said the CDC did not have the ability to do the stupid uh, moratorium for evictions. They said it was unconstitutional. You assholes that went to the Capitol and sat there like morons, okay, got this administration to, to do it again and extend it and fuck over a bunch of landlords, And you're letting all these people who are, by the way, probably on unemployment, getting an extra $300 a week in half the state still. In some of these other states, people are suing the state, saying that it's unconstitutional. They're not getting their extra $300 from the federal government because the governor stopped it. And the goddamn courts are reinstating it. So these people are getting like 800 at a minimum because it depends on the state, like 800, anywhere from like, I'd say, let's say, say, I I don't know unemployment stuff because I don't, I've never been on it, but say like you get 400 from the state, 300 from the government. So we'll say 700 bucks a week, a week. That is a massive bump in pay for one. Okay. But that's more than most people actually make period that are sitting on unemployment for the jobs that they had and if you go to a state like california your motherfucking ass is probably making like 12 or 1300 dollars a week the people that are on unemployment can absolutely 100 percent pay their fucking rent Everyone who is now sitting around doing nothing is on unemployment. They're able to pay their rent because of the federal government. Okay. And if the governor took away that $300, well, guess what? You do a deal with the landlord. You don't go to Big Brother for your fucking problem. That's the problem in this country. Socialism. When people say socialism, it turns a bunch of people off. You know, we're not socialists, we're not socialism, this isn't Marxism. It's a word people don't like to hear because Trump used it. But it is. When you go to big government to solve your fucking problems financially, 
That is socialism. When the government turns around and solves those fucking problems financially and you get hooked on the system, that is socialism. It's unbelievable what is happening to this country. And it all starts with the word equity. This is Are You Ready For It? Take care, guys. Have a great morning.